Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hayyakum Allah jami'an It's very important for us to talk about Dhul Hijjah these coming days which are blessed days to remember and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and strive to increase your taqwa and your strength in relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah azza wa jal says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa tazawwadu fa inna khayr zad taqwa wa taquni ya ulul al-bab. Allah azza wa jal says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa tazawwadu and increase you know make those provisions increase for in the khayr zad taqwa for verily the best provision is taqwa the best provision is taqwa so therefore fear me ya ul al albab so here allah azza wa jal reminds the people of remembrance and piety to strive to increase their provisions with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by increasing their taqwa. Striving to increase your fearfulness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from the ways that we can increase our taqwa and prepare ourselves and take our provisions is preparing ourselves for the ayam al-ashr, the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, the month uh, coming. And this is from the monks of Hajj, from the month, months of Hajj. And to illustrate for us the importance of those uh, of these days, these coming days, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al-kareem, wal-fajr, waliyalin ashr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wal-Fajr. He prays by Al-Fajr, by the 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 uh, daybreak. Waliyal and Ashr, and the uh, the ten nights. And what is meant by the ten nights? Ahabtu fillah. Yuqulu ibn Abbas radiyallahu taala anhu wa ghairhu min al-mufassirin. So some of the people of Tafsir who explained this from our Salaf al-Salih, beginning with the Sahaba radiyallahu taala anhu majmain, like Ibn Abbas, he said, "Al-murad bil-ashr fi hadhi al-ayah, fi hadhi al-ayah, al-ashr al-awl min shar dhul-hijjah." He said, Ibn Abbas radiyallahu taala anhu ma. He said, and what is meant by Al Ashr is yeah, in this ayah, in this verse, is the first ten, first ten days from the month of Dhul Hijjah. And so from the importance of this month, or from the importance of these ayam, these days, is that these are the best days to do righteous deeds during this Dhul Hijjah, during this specified time, Maksus fi ibadah, that this is one of the best times to do your ibadah during the day. And this is the time to seek to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all ty types of the variant ways that you can seek to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, as collected in Bukhari, قال, ما من أيام العمل الصالح فيها أحب إلى الله من هذه الأيام العشر. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, there isn't days in which people do righteous deeds that is more beloved to Allah than these 10 days. 
And then the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala majma'in that were present, they replied, qalu, wala jihad fi sabilillah. Qal, wala jihadu fi sabilillah. Illa rajulun kharaja bi nafsihi wa malihi thumma lam yirji' min thalika bi shayin. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was then asked by the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. They said, not even jihad fi sabilillah. They asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this. Not even jihad fi sabilillah. We know the, the manzil of jihad. Jihad in, in, in Islam has such a high, it's a, such a high duty and such a high level of worship when it's done shar'in according to the book and the sunnah and the minhaj of the salaf instead of the minhaj of Ahl al-Bidah wal-Ahwa, the people of takfir, wa-Khruj, wa-Khawarij, wa-Ghayrihim. So the Prophet ﷺ responded to the Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'i, he said, and he said, wala jihadu fi sabilillah, not even jihad fi sabilillah, except illa, illa rajulun kharaja bi nafsihi wa malihi, except that a man, that he goes out in this cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his self and his wealth. So he spent his wealth to, to, to go in the cause of Allah Azza wa Jal and his body. And then he doesn't return with any of it, meaning he's killed in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and martyred and his wealth is lost. So that shows us what? the high status of Dhul Hijjah. And also from this time of uh, Dhul Hijjah, it's the time of what they were, some of the scholars refer to as the Umahat Ta'at, meaning that these are the mothers of obedience, meaning, that, or that, that's a literal translation, but anyway, this is showing that this is the core. These types of ibadah, these types of worship are some of the core Ways that you can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially the outward type of ibadah. And from them is salat, wa siyam, wa hajj, wa dhabh, meaning prayer, fasting, hajj, we can't make hajj now because of the corona, wa dhabh, unless you're in Saudi, and dhabh, uh, sacrificing, sacrificing a sheep. <clears throat> After the Eid, uh, Prayer. So this is some of the great types of ibadah. And so we, we pray salat every day. So what does this mean for us? This means that you're going to increase your ibadah. Try to get your sunans. Try to do the extra prayers. Uh, don't miss your sunan rakatain after fajr. Two prayer units after fajr. Uh, four before dhuhr. When, when dhuhr, the time comes in, the time for dhuhr comes in. Then, you know, you pray your, your uh, two prayer units and two prayer units. That's your four rakat. Then pray dhuhr in the time for dhuhr, in the masjid if you can. If not, if you're prevented from that, pray in your home or wherever, in your work. And then try to pray the sunan rakatain after that. After that, pray two other rakatain. So that means four before dhuhr and two after dhuhr. And... Also, from the well-known sunan would be between the adhan and the iqamah. Also, salat al-duha, which would be in the morning after the sun has uh, risen. And also, from those sunans you don't want to leave is the sunan after salat al-maghrib, pray rakatain. And then pray uh, sun, sunan, pray after Isha, pray your witr, you know, after, you know, if you can, witr or the night prayer. And so all of this is an increase in your ta'at and it will have more reward, especially during this time and especially during the day that you want to increase your ibadat during this time. <clears throat> Likewise to fast, fast during these days up to Eid if you can, if you have the ability to do so and if it is not going to cause you great difficulty or what have you or, or endanger your health. 
and for those who are able to make the Hajj, obviously. So try to increase your ibadat from those ways of ta'at and other than that, make lots of dhikr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said in a sahih hadith, قال, أعظم اليام عند الله يوم, يوم النهار يوم النهار The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said the greatest day uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala أعظم اليام the greatest days that are uh, to, uh, that are of importance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, deems them to be important is the uh, the the day of sacrifice, and the and the days and in these days as we mentioned, so this is a time to praise Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and take the many provisions. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Fi kitabihi al-kareem, wathkur Allah fi ayam ma'dudat." Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Fi kitabihi al-kareem." وَذْكُرُ اللَّهَ فِي أَيَامٍ مَعْدُودَاتٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and remember Allah. So remember again, this is in the imperative form. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us to remember Him. وَذْكُرُ اللَّهَ فِي أَيَامٍ مَعْدُودَاتٍ Remember Allah <coughs> during the uh, those during these days. These specified days. And this is in reference, Ahabba Tefillah, to the days, through all this time, but especially the days of Eid. The days of Eid. Yom Eid, and then the days, uh, a couple of days following it. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned regarding what is known as Ayyam Tashriq. قال أيام التشريك أيام أكل وشرب وذكر الله عز وجل. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in Sahih Muslim, قال أيام التشريك أيام أكل وشرب وذكر الله عز وجل. He said the days of تشريك are the days of eating and drinking. So that shows us that it's impermissible to fast during the Eid, of course. Uh, with dhikr Allah Azza wa Jal and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you do not, you fast up to the to, to Eid, of course, if you're able to do so. And Yom Eid, of course, there's no fasting. And that is from the, that's part of the Ayyam al-Tashriq. So that's the time when we eat and we drink and we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the takbirat. And so those are just a few things I wanted to mention without making it too long about uh, this important time. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with ilm al-nafiyah, wa rizqan tayyibah, wa amal al and bless us to come back to him and come closer to him during this time of ta'at. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be striving and vigilant in our worship of him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I was just listening to one of our uh, mashayikh in Yemen uh, as an ending. Uh, and he it made me feel good as it was a good reminder because he also mentioned the importance of talab al-ilm during this time to, for example, for, especially for the people who are doing da'wah, that they should do da'wah during this time, like giving lectures, you know, durus and stuff like this, being active in this because this is a part of the Excellent ta'at during this time is not like another time of giving durus, the ajr of it. Likewise, if you're, if you know, Yomu Jumwa, when Yomu Jumwa falls in that time, if you're given the, if you're the khatib, then you make your niyyah to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as it should be all the time, but that can help you to even more so uh, give your khutbah and, you know, to help you strengthen your own iman and to deliver the message to the Muslimin. Because it's a duty. These are duties for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these are duties which build our community. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.